we could see visually that there was a big fry pan bottom type pattern occurring in the uh, Dow. And then on Friday, it broke out with a little gap up above this level. And today it gapped up again. So what's that tell us? That probably wave one and wave three are going to be the same. So that allows the candlestick investor to be much more aggressive as far as owning uh, uh, situations that are in a breakout mode. That's what instigated buying AAOI today with it breaking out through this kind of little resistance level. Market still heading up. If it opened positive, we were buying. Same scenario on INFN, fry pan bottom, gap up. We're buying because there's probably going to be a strong price move from this level. And the same thing with CLF coming out of this fry pan bottom. Gap up, wave one, wave three in progress. The reason we can go after something aggressively after it's moved this percentage or that, that magnitude of move is even though it's up strong, we can still go after it because we know what the results of fry pan bottom breakouts are. That it's still going to continue to move up very strong. Because patterns have results, we were watching uh, lean hogs right in this area. Notice when it broke out through this level. That was time to buy because we had a wave one wave two broke into wave three this is where you get very good leverage of being in the right place at the right time for every thirteen hundred dollars of uh, margin to use on a contract we basically made sixty two hundred dollars in profits so the nice thing about candlestick analysis is it illustrates what happens in investor sentiment time after time and the patterns are patterns because those are what keep reoccurring and not only do they reoccur, but we know what the results are of those patterns. This is what puts the candlestick investor in situations where the probabilities are not only strong, they're going to be in the right direction, but they're going to be in a very strong right, right direction. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.